Hey friends, welcome back to a new video. If you don't know me, I'm Sylvia from Catchy Cravings and I'd love to inspire you to help you master healthy eating but also healthy living and then I do lots of things on minimalism so be sure to check out my channel down below if you're interested in more. And for today's video, we're going to talk about common habits of highly successful people. So the author Stephen Pressfield of the book The War of Art once said, the difference between an amateur and a professional is in their habits. An amateur has amateur habits and a professional has professional habits. So I took a look at the habits of highly successful people and looked at what kind of habits they have in common. Now, first of all, before we jump in, I want to quickly talk about success. Now, success does not mean to have X amount of money or this, car or designer clothes success is really what you define it to be success can be defined very personally and depending on what you want what you want in life success will be different to each and every one of you so for some of you it might be to be a piano player that successful in entertaining people for someone else it might be to have a self-sustaining farm where they grow all kinds of crops and have animals and for other people it might be to raise kind and loving children so success is really defined very differently for everyone and you really have to define your success for yourself but something that successful people have in common is that they all have a dream or this vision of what they want their life to be like or what success looks like to them. And these habits that I'm going to share with you guys most likely contributed to their success. So the number one habit that most successful people had in common was that they set themselves goals. So first of all, you have to have that dream. You have to have that vision for yourself. What do you want your life to look like? What changes do you want to see happen in the world? And then they take that vision and they make themselves goals that they want to hit in order to ultimately achieve their vision and then that goal they break down into tinier actionable steps so for example if your vision is to be an animal advocate and animal rescuer your goal might be to save an endangered animal each year and educate people on the dangers that this animal is going through and an actionable step you might take towards that is to research into what kind of animals are going through what type of problems and maybe you're even going on to take a speaking course because you want to educate people on animal endangerment and you really want to convey your message the best way possible. But not only do you need to have that vision or that dream, you really need to believe in yourself and to believe that you are able to achieve that dream. You really need to be your biggest fan so that when other people come and try to tear you down, you really know what you're capable of, you know your strengths, and because you are unique and your story is unique, you know how much value you can bring to the table. Habit number two is that highly successful people are not afraid to fail. They know that with taking great risks there comes potential failure but only in taking great risks is there a potential amazing reward they kind of see failing as part of the process to getting where they want to be failure is just another step along the road and it is an amazing opportunity to learn to learn from your mistakes what successful people are even more afraid of is regretting regretting that they did not take that leap of faith to pursue what they want to pursue and personally i feel like as a society we tend to talk about failure too little we kind of hush that under the table and pretend that failure never happened but in reality there isn't a single person that hasn't failed habit number three is discipline I feel like discipline is often something that really makes or breaks success you can have the best idea in the world but if you don't put your idea into actions then you can never succeed successful people believe that with hard work you're able to achieve anything habit number four is that highly successful people always have this hunger to improve themselves this is also why a lot of them really read and they read a lot. They're constantly trying to learn a new skill or to improve upon an old skill that they already have and they ultimately want to grow as a person. As I said before, I personally think that books are highly underrated and I love to see what books truly inspired them to be where they are today. Now before we get on to the next habit, I want to quickly mention Patreon. If you love the videos that I make and you want to support me in continuing to make these videos, then be sure to check out Patreon. You can support me there and I I have exclusive videos that I only upload for my Patreon supporters and I think you would really enjoy this video so be sure to head on over to Patreon, the link is down below and support me if you'd want to. 
Habit number five is that highly successful people know how to prioritize their time. Essentially, we all have 24 hours in our day and what we have to do every single day is to choose how to fill those 24 hours. And highly successful people know how to fill their day appropriately or correctly. So depending on when you're the most creative or the most productive, depending on what field you're in, you may want to allocate the most important task to your most productive or most creative time of the day. So personally, for example, I'm the most productive and creative during the morning. So I like to try to get the most important tasks out of the way in the morning. Then number six is journaling and meditation. I found that highly successful people often journal or meditate or even both as a way to get more positivity into their lives, to practice gratitude. That is a big one for most of the highly successful people. They journal to kind of keep up with mental health, but also journaling is a great way to structure your mind and your ideas. I'm personally also a huge fan of journaling and meditation also once again helps you to structure and quiet your mind, to tune out all the noise and to listen to the thoughts that you might have deep inside of you somewhere. Habit number seven is that successful people often choose their friends and acquaintances very wisely. Now, I think we've all heard that saying that you are a mix of the five people that you spend most of your time with and highly successful people really take that seriously. They take a look at the people around them and they really analyze, do I want to be like the people that I surround myself with? Are those people that inspire me or propel me or really want me to be a better version of myself? And if not, they tend to not spend as much time with them. Habit number eight is to find your passion. Now, this is something that successful people often talk about to find your passion and to be in the field of your passion. When successful people dream, they dream big. They have big vision for themselves, for the world and for the people around them. And they often connect their passion with their dream. Their passion is a part of their vision. And when you're passionate about something, others can really see that. And that passion alone is often enough to spark passion and inspiration in other people as well. Habit number nine is mental and physical health. Now, highly successful people don't only focus on their business or their vision of becoming a piano player, their skill. What they also focus on is their mental and physical health. For one, I feel like it is correlated with constantly wanting to better yourself, which was habit number four that we talked about. But I also feel like along with chasing your dream, it takes a lot of work mentally and physically. It takes a toll on you. So I feel like highly successful people really want to be on top of their health. They want to make sure that they're functioning the best they can in order to have enough energy and to actually pursue their vision and their dream. Habit number 10 is empathy. What I found that is often highly successful people don't always talk about themselves, how it's about a vision purely for themselves or what they can gain from a specific situation. They often talk about it from an empathetic point of view. So for example, they ask themselves, how can I serve this person or how can I serve this community? How can I bring them value? And through bringing other people value, you are then valued and that can really propel your success in something. So for example, if you're once again, a piano player and you want to entertain people, your question maybe should not purely be how can it be the most accoladed piano player there is, but maybe turn it around and ask how can I entertain or serve the people I'm entertaining best? And when you really listen to other people, especially the ones that you want to serve, then you can really come together and create something together that both find value in and that will just propel your success so much more. So these were the 10 habits of highly successful people. I hope that this was interesting and valuable to you. Let me know in the comments down below which habit is a habit that you really need to work on. For me personally, I really need to work on maybe scheduling my days better to really schedule out when I do what and how I go about my day. I'm not horrible at it, but it could be better. And I really want to get more into meditation. I feel like I'm someone that gets stressed very quickly and I feel like I could really benefit from meditation to quiet my mind, to relieve some of that stress. So let me know which of these habits you really want to work on in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe if you want to see more. Check out my channel for a bunch of other topics like minimalism and recipes and health. And I think you'll find a lot of videos that you like. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.